you know, what do you do when you retire? Just play golf? It gets boring. <laughs> it does for me. <laughs> uh, there's got to be some reason for you to live. You got to have some purpose. And uh, it, there's nothing more rewarding than helping somebody in the third world and see them rise above it and become something. I wanted to go to India to see India and to see what I could do to help them ever since I was just a little lad, I mean like four years of age, because my grandparents uh, sent the National Geographic to our house and there were a series of stories on India and New Zealand. And I feel as strongly about New Zealand, except they don't have the needs that India does. You know, back in those days, they put a color photograph in once in a while. I still can pick up uh, from 37, 38, and 39, I can pick up a National Geographic, and I know what's on the next page because I wore them out. And uh, that's where the dream came from. And it went pretty deep. first trip in India, my son had said, you need to go down to a monastery at Mungad, and uh, you need to see my friend there, Lama Tashi Bapu. When I got acquainted with him, he said, you must come with me sometime and see where I was born. But he said, there isn't any road into it, and you'd have to hike a ways. And I said, that's, that's great. I, I like that. I mean, this is real then. There's thousands and thousands of villages with uh, no modern um, conveniences whatsoever. These are clay hut villages. Those are real people. The, the facades are all gone. In the tsunami, uh, the women that their husbands were drowned, they have no way to make a living. They'll either have to start begging or go into prostitution or both, usually both. So my son and I went and started buying sewing machines. There was a Catholic charity that was in there teaching them to sew, so we teamed up with them. All of India is full of surprises and beauty and bad smells and ugliness uh, side by side. The down part of all this sadness and disease and suffering is that you can't help everybody. And for some people, that drives them back to the U.S. and they can't stand to go anymore. It's better to keep it out of sight. Well, I'd rather be bothered by it and do what I can.